Hi, this is Doug Wisner with Will's Eye Physicians. This video demonstrates a vertical quick chop technique. I find that it's very useful because you're not near the posterior capsule. In most cases, the chance of posterior capsule rupture is low. So, go and I've cleaned up most of my uh, cortical material. Dive in with a steep angle of attack with the baco tip and drop the second instrument into the nuclear material. You can see that I pull to the side uh, and I'm maintaining the nucleus uh, centrally. Uh, so essentially, I'm holding the nucleus with my FACO tip, not allowing the entire bag to move. And then I drop my second instrument again uh, into my anticipated spot where I'm going to chop next. You usually need to break into at least five to six segments. And then I try to make a smaller segment at the end because it's usually easy to take out the smaller segment uh, than a larger segment. And this is different than divide and conquer technique where you've already debulked the nucleus so you can take out uh, just uh, you can divide into four pieces and take one of those quadrants out. So here we'll show it again, focus on some different details. You can see my parison piece is about 90 degrees away. Once I dive in with the FACO tip, I put my second instrument about two FACO tip widths in advance, and sometimes you need to make a little cleavage plane once you drop the FACO tip in. I prefer to use a uh, Nikamin chopper uh, because it's, it's got a taper tip and can penetrate through dense nuclei. You can also use hybrid choppers like a Nagahara, but for a very dense nuclei, it's going to be hard to get through the nuclear material. Keep in mind that a lot of these uh, tip second instruments that are designed for vertical chopping have a, a twist to them uh, such that the uh, wide face of the blade essentially faces the paracentesis and the thinner face faces the main phaco wound. And this is again so you can create that cleavage plane. So a right-handed surgeon can't use a vertical chopping instrument designed for a left-handed surgeon.